In 1951, Henrietta Lacks, a young mother of five, walked into the Johns Hopkins Hospital, seeking help for unusual vaginal bleeding. What happened next would change the world forever. Henrietta was diagnosed with cervical cancer by Dr. Howard Jones, and during her treatment, a sample of her cancer cells was taken without her knowledge. This was the standard practice at the time, especially at Johns Hopkins, one of the few hospitals that treated poor African Americans. Dr. George Gay, a prominent researcher, had been trying to grow human cells in his lab for years. But every sample he collected died. That is until he received Henrietta's cells. Unlike any other cells before, Henrietta's cells didn't just survive; they thrived. They doubled in number every 20 to 24 hours. These cells, named Hella cells, from the first two letters of her first and last names, were the first human cells to be successfully cloned. They have since been a cornerstone of modern medical research. Hella cells have been used to develop the polio vaccine, study cancer, AIDS, the effect of radiation and toxic substances, gene mapping, and so much more. They even played a crucial role in the development of the COVID-19 vaccine. Henrietta Lacks passed away on October 4th, 1951, at the age of 31. But her cells continue to impact the world. Despite their monumental contribution to science, neither Henrietta nor her family were informed or compensated for the use of her cells. Johns Hopkins, which did not profit from Hella cells, has acknowledged that they could and should have done more to work with and respect the Lax family. Today, the story of Henrietta Lax. Raises important questions about ethics and medical research, and the rights of patients. It reminds us of the profound impact one person's cells can have on science and humanity, and it calls us to ensure that the contributions of individuals like Henrietta are honored and respected.